Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck, and as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, we're taking a look at a black-green Clagbridge Troll combo deck featuring the 5-mana 8-8 from Throne of Eldraine. It also has Trample and Haste, and when the Troll enters the battlefield, target opponent creates 301 white goat creature tokens, and at the beginning of combat on our turn, any opponent may sacrifice a creature, and if a player does, we have to tap the Troll, but we also gain 3 life and get to draw a card in return, so each turn our opponent will be faced with an interesting decision whether or not to tap the troll, but we can also take that decision away from them if we happen to play a Massacre Worm, the 6 mana 6 5 that when it enters the battlefield gives all the opponent's creatures minus 2 minus 2 until end of turn, and when a creature the opponent controls dies, they also lose 2 life, so following up a troll with a Massacre Worm results in the opponent losing 6 life, and also having an 8 8 trample haste in play as well as a 6 5 that will keep on draining the opponent. Now this might be a pretty difficult combo to pull off if the opponent has an answer for the troll waiting in the wings, so that's why we're also playing a Vivian a Monster's Advocate. The 5 mana Planeswalker starts out at 3 loyalty and lets us take a look at the top card of our library at any time, and we can also cast creature spells from the top of our library, so it can provide a nice bit of card advantage there. The plus 1 makes a 3-3 beast token with our choice of a Reach, Vigilance or Trample, and then the minus 2 is what we're mostly interested in in this deck, as we can minus 2 and then when we cast our next creature spell this turn, we get to search our library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost and put it on the battlefield. So what happens is, if we have a Vivian in play, we can use the minus 2 ability, cast or massacre worm which has converted mana cost 6, so we get to search our library for a creature with a lesser converted mana cost, meaning we get to search up Clank Bridge Troll which will enter the battlefield before the massacre worm, so we get to make those goat tokens and then wipe them away with the massacre worm right away, resulting in a ton of damage, and of course an 8-8 haste that can attack right away unless the opponent has some other creatures they want to sacrifice, and to prevent the opponent from having too many creatures to sacrifice to the troll, our deck has a ton of spot removal as we'll see in just a second, so let me go over the rest of the deck at 1 mana, we've got the full playset of Bloodsheaf's Thirst as a removal spell for a creature with converted mana cost 2 or less, but we can also pay the kicker cost for 2 and a black, in which case we can destroy any creature or planeswalker instead. At 2 mana we also have the full playset of Heartless Act, which can destroy a creature at instant speed as long as it doesn't have any counters on it, and then also Wolf Willow Haven as a nice bit of ramp that can enchant one of our lands and then produce additional green mana, and then we have 4 copies of Maze Mind Tome as a nice card draw engine, which can maybe help us assemble all these various combos, and Maze Mind Tome also works nicely alongside Wolf Willow Haven, since we can potentially play a tome on turn 2, and then on turn 3 play Haven enchanting one of our lands and then still tap it for 2 mana to activate Maze Mind Tome to draw a card. And then at 3 mana we've got more ramp with Lenor Visionary, which also draws a card when it enters the battlefield. So with Visionary and Haven we've got 8 ways to potentially ramp into a turn 4 Vivian. And then we also have two copies of Plaka Predation, which we can potentially play as a land that comes into play tapped, but we can also use it as a nice discard spell to maybe take away a key card like a Yorion or an Ugin, the Spirit Dragon from the opponent's hand. At first I had Agonizing Remorse in the deck, but ended up just switching it out for Plaka Predation. And then we have four copies of Extinction Event as our sweeper of choice, which also synergizes nicely with Clangbridge Troll, since we can potentially name Even, which will get rid of all creature tokens and any creatures with an even converted mana cost that the opponent might have in play, and of course it's not going to affect our Clank Bridge Troll. And then only 3 copies of the Troll, since we would much prefer actually having a Vivian in play using the minus 2 and then comboing off with Massacre Worm. And Troll isn't an exciting creature by itself, so it's much better if we can actually synergize with our Vivian and our Massacre Worm. And then also 4 copies of Turn Timber Symbiosis, which of course can also be played as a land, and can also potentially help us find Clank Bridge Troll or Massacre Worm by taking a look at the top 7 cards. And then the rest of the mana base, we've got 4 Temple of Malady, which lets us scry 1, 2 copies of Zagoth Triome, since we don't have the green-black pathway, so just want a few extra dual lands, and then 5 forests and 9 basic swamps. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw, with a fine opening hand. It's actually a 3-lander, once you look closely. Hateful Eidolon, fine target for Blood Chief's Thirsts. Do I want to kill it right away? I guess I could wait. The only downside of waiting is if they put like a Mogus's favor on it and then I kill it, they get to draw a card. But that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, I kind of want to keep Predation to maybe take away Lurus, but I guess we can exile it with Extinction Event. So I'll just play this tap now. 
and then we can maybe take it slow and play Mace Mind Tome to draw some cards. Although Agonizing Remorse is maybe going to take that away. Yep, there goes the Tome. Makes sense. So, I guess I've got not much else going on. I we'll killed Eidolon. Vivian's still going to be quite good once we get it in play. Keep a forest on top. Could maybe see turn 4 Lurus get back Hateful Eidolon? Nope. So both decks being pretty passive. Opponent can put two counters on the Crawling Barons to eventually threaten Vivian. And yeah, we don't have a great answer to Crawling Barons because Heartless Act is not really a solution since it only removes three counters and Thirst is Sorcery Speed. So Troll and Vivian are the options. Probably just get a Vivian in play first. And then we'll make a Vigilance Beast, I think. I love making new friends. Gonna see Bloodchief's Thirst kill Vivian, that's fine. Do I just replay another Vivian here? That seems fine. Remorse gonna take the troll. Nope, takes extinction event instead. Interesting. There's an extinction event waiting in hand. So I could minus two Vivian and then get a Lanor Visionary. But if my opponent took Extinction Event with Remorse, I probably don't mind drawing another one. So, just gonna plus here, make another Vigilant Beast. If they already had a creature in play, there's an argument for making a Reach Beast in case my opponent has the uh, three mana Flying Enchantments. Heartless Act kills Troll. Alright, and now our opponent got three chum blockers for free. It's not ideal. But we could always draw Massacre Worm. Allura's gonna get back Eidolon. So now Extinction Event on odds gets rid of both Eidolon and Lurus. Interesting. So this makes me think my opponent has the one mana instant that can save a creature, or they have village rights. Either way, extinction event on odd is probably okay here. Yep, and it was a village rights. And then I'll just name odd again, don't want to wipe away my tokens. And uh, yeah, we'll get in for three. And I guess we'll make a trample token now. We will adapt to any threat. Now Lur's gonna get back Eidolon. Have a look with Predation. So the reason I cast uh, Extinction Event last turn instead of Thirst is in case they had a Malachi Rebirth. But uh, yeah, I never got to find out if they actually had it in hand. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Might be a little bit light on black mana to eventually cast Troll and Worm. But we have more black mana than green mana in the deck. Let's 
water and one mountain. Opponent did seem to have an instant there, so it could be a shock. So some sort of big red deck here. Doesn't seem to be very aggressive. Play visionary before playing my land in case we find a tap land, like another temple or trium. Alright, swamp is nice, so we've got a double black required for troll next turn, even if the visionary dies. And then we're one swamp away from Massacre Worm. But I'm gonna sling fire at the visionary. That's fine. And we'll see if they wanna pay the troll toll here. Alright, we get to draw a card. Land 5 comes into play tapped. Solemn Simulacrum. That one they're probably happy to sacrifice, so really would like to find a black source for a worm here. Alright, it's a symbiosis instead. So. Yeah, I guess we'll attack and then see if we maybe draw into a swamp. We do. Alright, so it's still worth it to play a Massacre Worm here. Now my opponent could cast an Ugin next turn if they have an Iron Crack feat. So that's what we're worried about. It's gonna be a Maze Mind Tome instead. That's fine. So I can deal 14 damage. Can I get to 16 somehow? Probably not, and I also don't want to play another Worm in case my opponent goes Ugin Minus next turn. So where does it leave me? I guess I just attack. And, uh... Probably just play Symbiosis as a tap land and pass. Could play Visionary, but it's just gonna get wiped away. And once I lose my Wolf Hollow Haven, I'm gonna need the extra land to play a Backup Worm. Of course, Thirst can kill Ugin. So that's going to be priority number one. There's Ugin. It's going to have to minus six. And then... Blood Chief's Thirsts can kill Ugin, and we can still play a Visionary. Although they might have a another Ugin in hand here. These Heartless Acts are not looking great. Chandra Heart of Fire. Takes out Visionary. Well, I guess we'll play a worm. Can go Haven into worm. Could have also tried to hold the worm in hand until my opponent plays another Solemn Simulacrum. There was also a valid strategy here. Storm's Wrath cleans up Worm, but also deals for to Chandra. Sadly, we can make a wolf end of turn with a Haven. We can only activate this in our own turn. And now Tome's gonna gain four life, so the plan of holding the Worm was probably not gonna work out anyway. So yeah, I really need to find a payoff card here. 
Maybe a Vivian, another troll. No real point in making a wolf token that just dies to Chandra. Lock up predation. I guess we'll cast it. There's another Ugin. And then, yeah, we'll pass. Crawling Barons. We can try and take out with Heartless Act by removing counters from it. Chandra goes digging, finds Yidaro Wandering Monster, as well as Fire Emancipation, which is going to be pretty tough to beat here, since we can't really remove enchantments. So we'll take out Yidaro. And then... Do I kill a Simulacrum here? Maybe my best bet is... Top decking my last Massacre Worm to kill double Simulacrum, deal 4 to my opponents. And then we might be able to win by killing a creature with Heartless Act. Although I guess now with Chandra they can just deal 6 to the Worm with Emancipation in play. So that's not even an out. Yeah, it's tough. These are dealing 6 each, so that's quite a bit of damage. So I'll probably have to kill 1. Alright, there's a troll. Does that do it? Definitely doesn't do it by itself. But it's a start. Symbiosis. Can maybe cast that next turn in the hopes of finding the uh, Massacre Worm. But the Crawling Barons is pretty scary here, since that can represent a ton of damage. So in response to this activation, I could use Heartless Act to remove three counters from it, and then they'll activate again. I mean, there's no better timing for me to do this. One's going to activate again. So remove three counters, and then they get two more. So we're taking lethal here. Alright, close game here against a big red deck, but sadly Ugin, pretty good at breaking up our combo. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Just need to hit our land drops and then we've got some interaction and then Vivian to take over. Swamp is fine. Opponent on Teamer could be a ramp deck. Opponent's got their own visionary. Alright, so we'll see if we need to interact next turn or if we get to slam down Vivian.
Elder Gargroth probably requires an answer here. And a kicked thirst seems fine. And then probably hang on to Symbiosis and just attack for two. Maze Mine Tomb. Alright, so this seems like a good turn for Vivian. Chain Web Arachnir, opponent came prepared for the Rogues matchup. And there's a troll waiting for us on top. So we'll plus and I'll go with Vigilance. And then no attacks to protect Vivian. Alright, fair enough. We do have Thirst to kill Vivian as well. I love making new friends. So I've got a couple options here. Probably just taking out Vivian, and then I can still play Tome. So do I want to attack first? I guess we can send Beast at Vivian, and I'm happy if it trades for the opposing beasts. And then probably going to hang on to Symbiosis to maybe find a Worm eventually. And we'll scry the Trium to the bottom, probably. Recovery gets back Vivian, sure. Should be able to build up a big board to pressure Vivian here. Heartless Act, do we want to draw that? Yeah, that seems fine. Another Vivian on top. So is this a turn for Troll? I guess so. And then I could minus Vivian to get another Visionary, since I guess a third Vivian's not really necessary here. This is a situation where having like one or two four mana creatures, like maybe Questing Beast or Polukronos would be nice. Just to have a bit more value from Vivian's Minus, but getting a Visionary is still okay. And then we'll hit for three and draw with Tome. Which can also help us cast Predation to maybe take away some big scary threats like Ugin, or maybe Genesis Ultimatum. Although they currently have too much green mana for Ultimatum. And last turn, by using the Minus ability, instead of making a token, we also make Extinction Event on Even look a bit better. So the troll can pressure Vivian. All right, so we want to Perdition first. And there's Genesis Ultimatum that I'm going to take away. Even if they couldn't cast it right away. And then maybe should have started with Temple on the off chance that there was a Massacre Worm second from the top. But I guess I don't really mind drawing another Maze Mine Tome. Uh, I guess we'll be pretty busy. Alright, there was a Massacre Worm. So now I'm one mana short of casting it. That's okay. Can uh, 
maybe wait until next turn to go for the combo. Or I could just Extinction Event on Even, get rid of all the tokens, kill Vivian, unless they want to Sank Visionary. Yeah, we'll just Extinction Event here. But on stamping the Visionary, interesting. I guess their plan is to into the Royal here. So we get to make a fresh batch of Go Tokens to combo with Massacre Worm now. So next turn I could minus two Vivian and combo worm with another troll, or I could play troll first and then next turn have essentially two trolls to go with a worm. Got a couple options. Vivian gonna minus two. I guess they've got big plans with the Stonequill Serpent here. Maybe get a Terror of the Peaks and then try and finish off my Vivian that way. So that happens. It's gonna be an Elder Gargroth instead. That one's not so bad. Alright, so we'll draw. Another troll on top. Man. Could go for another free troll. They do have that inscription to maybe bounce some of my creatures, which could be annoying. But I guess we've got Heartless Sanct for Gergroth anyway. So I'm liking Troll in the second main phase, so they can tap it down. And then Heartless Sanct Gergroth. And Vivian makes another Vigilant token. I love making new friends. No attacks. Play trolls so they can't tap it down. And then... I guess I haven't uh, played land for the turn yet, so I wouldn't mind hitting my land drop. Could play a free visionary, but want to keep up Heartless Act to kill Gargroth. We do still have one troll left in the deck to combo with a Massacre Worm. Gotta keep track of how many we have left. Tome draws a card. And our opponent's gonna keep on ramping. Gets blue mana sorted to maybe cast a Genesis Ultimatum. And of turn we'll kill Gergroth. And yeah, I think it's time to combo. And I think we have enough mana to play Troll and Worm here, as long as I play this as a land. Play Troll. Minus two Vivian. Oh yes. Get our last troll. Ah, didn't get to see the animation. But uh, yeah, you can do the math here. There's nine creatures that would die to the Massacre Worm, so that's 18 damage before we get to attack. And with three hasty trampling trolls, my opponent's certainly dead. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play, and we've got Troll plus Worm, even some Ramp, so I'm down. And then I probably want to play Predation on 1, Tome on 2, and then turn 3, Haven, plus draw with Tome. All 
Alright, opponent just with a turn one swamp. So I'll stick to the plan here. And then I could scry with the tome. Probably wouldn't mind finding a Vivian here. So that's something we can scry towards with Maze Mind Tome. Opponent on blue black. And do we want a Blood Chief's Thirst? Opponent could be on Rogues, but they haven't played any creatures yet. I guess I could flash into 1 3, and then Thirst is a nice answer. Yeah, it's probably fine. And then Haven and Chance Swamp. And we'll draw end of turn. No Soaring Thought Thief. Opponent on Grixis instead. Well, at least our Thirst still deals with Planeswalkers, so could still be good against a more controlling deck. And yeah, I'm just gonna slam down Clangbridge Troll here, I think. Or I could Predation first and have a look and play Temple here. Yeah, I suppose that's maybe better. Bonus Cycles Shark Typhoon for one. And Extinction Event, the only card we can take. Fae of Wishes, Erebos' Intervention. Okay. And then... Do I want to draw with Tome or just Scry with Temple? I guess we'll Scry with Temple. Vivian's perfect. Even if it dies to Blood Chief's Thirsts. What's the Fae gonna wish for here? Ashok Nightmare Muse dies to the thirst. So we've got a couple options. Could play Vivian here, then my opponent likely kills it with thirst next turn, but we'll have a token that can do some damage. I could slam down Troll, which maybe hits the opponent for eight. Or draws a card, then the opponent can kill it, but then Massacre Worm looks good on the following turn. Yeah, I guess we'll play Vivian. And then we'll make a Reach Beast. And hold on to Symbiosis for the time being. Thirst kills Vivian. There was always a chance they would play Ashok first, but this is still a fine outcome. They could also kill the beast with a second thirst, but that means fewer answers for Troll and Worm. Gets a mountain instead. And then just looking for another Vivian, I guess. For now we'll play a Troll. Then we'll pass. Another kicked thirst to kill Troll. And fair wishes. So I could attack with a beast first in the hopes that they block with Fae of Wishes. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Perfect. Bones at 9. Facing two threats. And we still have plenty of answers for Ashok. Right, extinction event on even will 
clear the board, so that was a nice one. Ooh, backup Vivian's perfect. So let's do that. Temple on top. And I kind of like Vigilance here. And we'll just pass. I'll leave the tome with three counters on it. No need to scry here. Remorse can have a look, but we've got double thirst. Symbiosis could also find another uh, creature like worm or troll here. And then I guess I'll get rid of one thirst. land on top so I can scry first to maybe find something better on top of my deck to play for free with Vivian. Of course a uh, Massacre Worm would be the best case scenario. Another Thirst is still okay. So could Blood Chief's Thirst Ashok, could just try and pressure Ashok with my creatures but they do have another removal spell in hand so that's probably not gonna work out. So yeah we'll just kill Ashok make a beast and then we can draw with a tome. No need to draw right away since they might draw another discard spell. And then now Vigilance or Trample. Let's go with Trample. I love making new friends. They do have a Castle Lochthwain to potentially draw some cards. Extinction event, not super useful. Alright, so visionary first. On the off chance that there's another troll on top. And then we'll just uh, plus here. Beauty lies in variation. And then another tome, a nice draw as well. Could maybe see Shark Typhoon cycled. Or it's just the Erebos' intervention. There's also an argument for holding the land in case the Ashok make me discard again. But I don't mind discarding Extinction Event. Alright, we'll play the Visionary for free. Ooh, Massacre Worm. We get to pull off the combo. Opponent gets a couple of goat tokens. And the goat tokens are gone. They could technically still kill the worm before the tokens die to prevent taking six. Move to combat, and they should be dead unless they have removal here. Ah, Arbos's intervention to kill the troll. Could have also decided to kill the worm, but this also makes sense. And then we'll hang on to the symbiosis. Another Vivian on top. Seems fine to keep that there. Um. So Symbiosis doesn't work with Vivian's minus two since we're not actually casting a creature spell. So suppose we just attack, see what happens. This would be 13 damage, but my opponent found Shark Typhoon, sadly. So that's gonna ambush the Massacre Worm. We can kill the shark with uh, thirst pretty easily, though.
Vivian makes another trampley token. Probably draw with a tomb. And play a free visionary. Alright, not a bad turn. Castle Lothwain for the desperation draw. Fay of Wishes. But they only have two mana left over. And yeah, Ugin Spirit Dragon's gonna be a little bit late to the party, I'm afraid. Alright, GG's. So yeah, we got to pull off the Vivian minus two into a Massacre Worm to search up Troll a few times, so I'm glad we got to experience that. And yeah, the deck's pretty fun to play. It's got a lot of removal, so it kind of plays out as a more controlling deck, and then it's got the combo finish of Massacre Worm plus Troll to very quickly kill the opponent. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.